So we've looked at the concept of control, how we get it, why an entity with control cannot prepare consolidated financial statements. We've looked at significant influence and the indicators of significant influence and how we apply the consolidated or we apply the IAS 28. Now the third area, which is gonna be interesting is to talk about the concept of goodwill, the concept of goodwill. So that's number three, goodwill. What is goodwill? We spoke about goodwill under IAS 37, intangible, sorry, IAS 38, intangible assets. And if you remember, we said the goodwill that arises from acquisition is what can be recognized in the financial statement. All right. So goodwill is simply going to be as follows. The fair value of consideration transferred. The fair value of non-controlling interest at acquisition. That is, if we have not acquired 100% of the company, that gives us the fair value of the business. We will less the net asset at acquisition. And boom, we get a goodwill. I want you to be mindful here because we could also have a negative goodwill. And that's where I'm going to begin my discussion from, the negative aspect. Goodwill can be positive or negative. What the heck does that mean? Pretty simple. Negative goodwill is profit from acquisition and hence will be recognized in the profit or loss account. So negative goodwill is recognized as profit from, or let me use the word gain, not profit, gain from acquisition and shall be recognized in the consolidated Statement of profit or loss. And or added to consolidated retained earnings. In the case of consolidated financial position. Sounds good? That's negative goodwill. W what does that mean? It simply means that we paid less than the net assets of the company. So it means that the net assets are greater than the fair value of consideration. That is why we are getting a negative goodwill. So when there is a negative goodwill, it is a gain. So if we are preparing consolidated profit or loss, it will come as a line item on the face of the consolidated statement of profit or loss. If you are preparing consolidated statement of financial position, we will add it to the group retained earnings because the group retained earnings or the consolidated retained earnings will end up on the face of the consolidated statement of financial position. So sometimes our goodwill figure will be negative. And if it is negative, this is what we do. But we have established that it means the net asset exceeds how much we paid. That is why we are getting a negative goodwill. But what are some of the reasons why this could happen? Yes, by default, the net asset is more than the fair value. But what are the circumstances? Why will this happen? 
So let's look at a couple of scenarios on why goodwill could be negative. One, the acquirer may be good in the negotiation of the purchase consideration. That's the first thing. So maybe we negotiated the deal well. So yes, we saw that the net asset of the company was, whatever the heck, $100 million. But we negotiated the deal and paid $90 million. <laughs> so we are good negotiators. We are good negotiators. This one is not about negotiation to buy rotten tomatoes in the market, like some women do. But the net asset of the company, it's $100 million. We've seen it. And we negotiated the deal and got it down to 90 million. That's the first thing, good negotiation skill. Two, the acquiree has no knowledge of the value of the business before and during the sale transaction. And that is one of the dumbest things that we can face. But you know, ignorance of the law is not an excuse. If we see that somebody is foolish and they don't know the value of what they have, we will crush them and take it away. And it may look like, oh, it's unfair. But if you want fairness, then maybe this is not the world you have to be in. Die and go somewhere else. Maybe there will be fairness there. But that is the second thing. The owners of the business do not even know the value of the business because probably it's just a family business. They've not been serious about it. And they are like, oh, we just want to get rid of this business. So although the value of the business is $100 million, they have no clue. So guess what? We got there and we said, oh, we'll give you people $45 million. Then they're like, ooh, $45 million? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's okay. We got a deal. We go away. That's the second reason. Third, the acquiree is desperate to sell in a forced sale transaction. Desperation. Probably they need money to finance a family relative's surgery or they need they are uh, they file for bankruptcy and so the court has declared that their assets must be sold and pay for the debt and all that. Under that circumstance, it's a false sale. When that happens, your family don't come in. because it's been auctioned literally, and so you are gonna pay less than how much we are going to pay. And these are some of the reasons why. Goodwill can be negative.